Welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm April. Hi, it's April. I make content about spirituality, growth, self-development, everything mystical. And if you're here, thank you so much for clicking on my channel. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with anyone who you feel may need the video as well. But I'm going to jump right into the topic because I feel a calling to speak on the emotion of shame. So I'm sharing this video today with you all because I feel we all want to evolve past our past experiences and who we have been prior to our awakening. And we also don't want to stay stagnant. So becoming self-aware and that happened for me during meditation. I'll sit in meditation and I'll notice how my brain is always judgmental. And if you do the same, I'm sure you'll see the same as well. When you sit in meditation in a state of self-awareness and you watch your thoughts go by, you see how the brain needs a consequence. It needs a description. It needs a judgment for everything <laughs> just to feel safe. And I know we all want to feel safe. That's just an essential part of our existence. But a lot of the things that we think bring us danger don't really bring us danger at all. Sitting in self-awareness is non-judgmental. You're just watching your thoughts go by, seeing exactly who you are, who you've been, and then making the conscious decision to be better, to be your higher self. Once you begin living in a state of self-awareness, you're no longer living in autopilot. You're now conscious. You now do things with intention. And shame doesn't promote that. So although shame is a necessary emotion, it is an emotion, meaning it's an energy that's in motion. So if you allow yourself to stay in a place of shame, and you don't allow that emotion to process through your body and release, then you won't be able to get to the other side, which is accountability and growth. For example, let's say you judge yourself because um, you say, I just stole a shirt out of a store or I shouldn't have yelled at my daughter today. And those are proper thoughts. You know, you're reflecting on behavior that you don't approve of. But shame is what will come up once you realize that you're an imperfect human being. You're an imperfect human being that's going to constantly make mistakes in life. So keeping that shame in the body will only bring you down. Those mistakes don't define your inner being. That's the good news, right? Because if you live in that false information of, I'm a bad person because I yelled at my daughter, then you'll be stuck in that repeated cycle forever. So the goal is once you feel that shame, once you accept it and you sit with it and you process it and you don't run from it, you are able to raise that emotion of shame up to the frequency of love, of self-love, of self-compassion, which is what you need in order to do better. Those unreleased feelings of guilt, of shame, of um, fear um, and just basically abusing yourself by repeating that same issue repeating that same mistake constantly over in your head and not freeing yourself that doesn't allow you to get back to what you really are to get back to the loving being that we really are throughout my journey I've seen where I've had a veil over my eyes and um, I didn't realize the type of person I was to people. I didn't notice the things I were doing to others out of fear with no remorse, simply just to feel safe and to survive. So once I awakened to my, my own behavior, shame came up for me. Once that truth came up to me that I wasn't behaving as my best self, as the true love that I am, um, I had to take some accountability and admit to myself that I wasn't moving in love. And that's okay. The shame came up for me, absolutely, which is awesome. Perfect start. Now it's time to release it. And there's plenty of ways to release shame from yoga to meditating, whether it's through writing yourself an apology letter or whoever you harmed, writing them an apology letter sincerely with intention to therapy all forms of therapy and reading feeding your spirit with new information of how amazing of a person that you are um not allowing your past to define you and also not being around other people who try to make your mistakes and your past define you that's very important <laughs> clearing your energy from internally and externally most importantly apologizing and forgiving you want to make sure that everyone involved that you probably harmed, especially yourself, 
feels heard, feels seen. Like you're sincerely apologizing. You want to learn how to truly apologize to yourself and others. And life is so forgiving. So you're the only one judging yourself constantly every day, right? You're the only one that is waking up every day not realizing that you have a new opportunity to choose something better you're not who you were yesterday you're not even who you were 10 minutes ago <laughs> that's how evolving and ever-changing reality is for us which is so amazing and <laughs> so much to be grateful for just for that alone it's perfectly okay to accept the imperfect humans that we are as long as you wake up the next day saying I'm not going to go back and steal that again or I'm going to be more conscious of the tone that I use with my daughter the next time I speak to her because I wouldn't want anyone to treat me like that. To be able to sit in self-reflection and allow that shame to come up and not stay stagnant in it and to allow it to release and go back to the state of love, that's growth. That's, 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 that's the definition of growth. That's the definition of self-awareness. When you do things that feel wrong, when you make mistakes that cause you pain and you don't allow it to define you, that's the definition of growth. That's when you know I'm maturing, I'm evolving, I'm not stagnant, and I'm moving with love and compassion. Once you've awakened to who you've been, um, it doesn't give you an excuse not to grow. Once you've awakened, you have to wake up and constantly, consistently, and consciously choose better choose love choosing to not make the same mistakes over and over and over because although we're imperfect we are also ever changing so if you stay stagnant and say i'm stuck then you will be you have to believe that you absolutely can evolve you have to believe that you you're not who you were yesterday and that your mistakes don't define you and you can apply this simple concept to everything something small to something extreme because grace allows that for us god provides us with grace and as real as karma may be you can repay your karma debt simply by forgiving yourself forgiving others and not repeating that same thing again and consciously moving with more intent you can repay your karma debt because grace is real grace allows you to free yourself from those low vibrational emotions grace allows you to live in a constant state of joy and freedom so if you're with me right now just close your eyes and visualize yourself living in a more compassionate a more gentle reality and know that we are spinning on a rock in the middle of space and that who you were 10 minutes ago or who you were last year doesn't define you and have fun with the journey have fun with the process you don't have to beat up on yourself and be your own toughest worst critic align yourself with your soul essence because that is the only thing that is true life is about evolving without shame and regret from where you came from it's about using your past to tell a story so it can help others it's about noticing when you're making a mistake and telling yourself that I am not my mistakes and always be gentle with yourself always be gentle with yourself because then that's the only way you can be gentle with others that's the only way you can surrender and walk in your divine feminine and this goes for men as well we all have feminine energy you came from a woman you have feminine energy being gentle with yourself allows you to notice the love that is always everlasting and that is always flowing through and around you and when you feel these emotions of shame and guilt, you can close your eyes and just sit and pray and ask God to allow you to see past those illusions. Because your real being, your core, your soul essence is love. It's the furthest thing from fear and shame and guilt. That's on a whole nother frequency that is not real. It's a human experience, yes, but you are not just a human. You are a human being. I read this book by Eckhart Tolle where he states that we are human and being. The human and the being are interwoven. They're not separate. So one part of you is human where it's just ego and conditions and then the other part of you is being which is vast and limitless. So for you to separate your being from your human is doing yourself a disservice. Although we are human and we're imperfect and we make mistakes and we're on this planet to learn to love and grow, there is a part of us that is already 
fulfilled, already expanded, already vast and limitless. And that's the part of us that allows us to forgive ourselves and grow when we make mistakes. So make sure you come back home to your being, your inner, your inner soul essence that will save you from living in that state of depression, living in that state of fear, because it's an illusion that we can and will overcome. Our being is pure potentiality. Our soul essence is expanded, it is vast, it is godlike. So to belittle yourself to a mistake that you made in one moment, as if there's not a lifetime worth of time for you to overcome that and free yourself from that, you're doing yourself a great disservice. Because we are not defined by our humanness, it allows us to choose something new in every moment. Just how amazing is that? Just soak in that truth of we are never stuck. So once you choose accountability, you can consciously choose to just be better for your own sake, which in reality benefits everyone, but you start with you. Once you're better to you, then you can be better to those around you. While on the other end of the stick, if you run away from the shame of what you've done and you choose to blame others, that just brings up narcissism inside of you. It makes you feel like the world is against you and you're in victim mode and you need to hide your truth of what you've done in order to feel safe. Which like once again, like I said, is all an illusion. So although shame does not serve our highest purpose, we do have to feel through it and release it when it comes along to get to the other side. And how can you release it if you don't welcome it, right? So yeah, I really wanted to just jump on the camera today and speak on this topic because it's something that I personally have been experiencing and I know I'm not alone. I love coming on YouTube and sharing with everyone else what I'm going through so we can feel the oneness that is always present. And make sure you share this with someone who you feel like may need the video as well. I will be making more content on this topic. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for existing and make sure you check out my next video. Bye.